हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो के प्रॉब्लम मैक्सिमम एरिया ऑफ लॉन्गेस्ट डायगोनल रेक्टेंगल इट्स अ वेरी इजी प्रॉब्लम वी कैन एक्चुअली सी इट वेरी क्विकली इट्स जस्ट व्हाट द प्रॉब्लम इज सेम वी हैव टू रिप्लिकेट दैट एग्जैक्ट सेम डिस्क्रिप्शन इन द कोड हाउ वी आर गिवन अ 2D जीरो इंडेक्स इंटीजर एरे कॉल्ड एज डायमेंशंस so basically it's a 2d array as you can see it's a 2d array called as dimensions now what this says is that for the dimensions basically it will have some something so for one of the dimensions it, it represents the length and this represents the width of the rectangle so i can just say that this one thing this one this one piece of thing this will represent 9 as the length and 3 as the width of the rectangle now what the problem is saying next is return the area of the rectangle having the longest diagonal now what is the area of the rectangle area of the rectangle is nothing but length into breadth or basically length into width is the area of the rectangle what is the diagonal of a rectangle diagonal of a rectangle if i just go and say diagonal of a rectangle is nothing but under root of under root of length square plus width square right and i just want to get that get that maximum it is saying longest diagonal for the longest diagonal give me the area of that rectangle so the one so the one of the dimension having the maximum diagonal length i have to return its area that is what i am saying so if i look at the first example the first one is 9,3 if i go and find its diagonal so i will get a square root of 9 square plus 3 square which is nothing but square root of 90 so if i convert that to a decimal it will get a 9.487 okay and the next one if i take it is actually nothing but 8 8 square plus 6 square ka square root so it will be a square root of 100 which is actually 10 so you can see this is a longer diagonal so i will give the area corresponding to this diagonal so corresponding to this diagonal the length was a 8 breadth was width was a 6 so area is 8 into 6 is actually 48 and 48 is the answer and that's how you can simply solve this now bhaiya uh, so shall i just take a double so when you have to compare the double values it is always because see a uh, precision is something you can get wrong of which means if i have something square root of some number and square root of some other number i and let's say if it gives me 9.823 if it gives me 9.814 so you can see i can go wrong with precision of how much precision i am taking i can go wrong with although if you use a double you might not go wrong because it has a very high precision but if you are trying to convert that maybe you might end up going in a wrong thing so rather it is always good that you do a squaring both sides if i do a square both sides so this root will go away this root will go away now i can compare the actual value i can compare this 9 square plus 3 square with 8 square plus 6 square i can compare the actual values and whoever is bigger i can take that as a maximum diagonal and correspond to that maximum diagonal i will take the maximum area so this is the same thing which i will do in the code itself what i will do i will take the maximum area i will take the maximum diagonal length this is what i want to maximize and if i I am able to maximize this i will update my maximum area also corresponding to that maximum diagonal right so i'll go on to all of my dimensions for that current dimension i will go and find the current diagonal length that is nothing but although it it would have been under root of my length square comma width square right but i have removed the under root right so i am basically finding my current diagonal length square and i just want that for comparison so it would not affect me so i will get the current diagonal length actually remember it's a square it's a square value but i just, i just want it for comparison so it will not affect me as such okay great then if my current diagonal length which i have got if it is more than my maximum diagonal length which i have early, earlier or previously calculated then okay bro bro okay if that is the case then please update your maximum diagonal length with the current length and also update your maximum area with the current coordinates area which means length into width but bhaiya what if i had the same diagonal length okay for the same diagonal length again you want the maximum area so if the diagonal length is same then you will say okay bhaiya what if the area is increasing so it's a or condition if the diagonal length is same which means the current diagonal length and the maximum diagonal length if it is same then i will check 
if the current area which I will go and find if it is more than my maximum area which I have already found out then I, I can simply update my maximum area so either my current diagonal length if it is more than my existing length of diagonal so I can just update my area directly but if it is same it is same then again I want to maximize first condition is always <laughs> first condition is as you can see first condition is getting the longest diagonal when this i have got then my next condition is getting the area maximum area for that corresponding maximum area corresponding that diagonal itself so if the first condition is itself not satisfied which means if the first condition if the diagonal length is more okay update the area without even thinking update the area if the diagonal length is same then check if the area will actually increase if it will increase then increase the area and that's how simply you can solve this question I hope that you guys got it. See you in the next video. Bye bye.